termites didn't just build air conditioning, they built a living fluid dynamics machine millions of years before humans understood thermodynamics. Inside their mounds, temperature stays stable within plus 1 degree size, even when the outside swings by 40 degree size. This isn't luck, it's physics, plus biological architecture. The mound is a giant convection reactor. Metabolic heat from millions of termites rises through vertical chimneys. Cooler air is drawn from underground tunnels. This creates a continuous, buoyancy-driven flow loop, also known as the stack effect. But convection alone isn't enough. Termites use wind to power ventilation. When wind hits the mound, it creates high pressure and low pressure zones. These pressure gradients force air through the mound's porous walls. This turns the mound into a Bernoulli-powered respiratory system. Termite walls look solid, but under a microscope they're a network of microtubes. These pores regulate airflow the same way a heat exchanger does. They filter air, cool surfaces through evaporation, damp temperature spikes. The tunnels and chambers inside serve as gas buffers. Termites produce CO2 constantly, but the mound geometry ensures CO2 diffuses out, O2 diffuses in, humidity stays stable for fungal gardens. It's essentially a passive chemical reactor with atmospheric regulation. Everything inside the mound follows core principles from Navier, Stokes equations, Darcy's law for flow through porous materials, Fourier's law for heat transfer, Fick's law for gas diffusion. Termites build these structures without ever solving equations. But their behavior naturally converges to optimal engineering. Humans finally tested termite ventilation systems in real architecture. The Eastgate Center in Zimbabwe stays cool using convection chimneys, pressure-driven airflow, thermal mass walls, all copied from termite design. It uses 90% less energy than normal air conditioning. Termites are not simple insects. They're master engineers that discovered thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, and sustainable architecture long before humans wrote the equations.